Hi, I'm here at the National Astronomical Meeting in Llandidno, North Wales, where research on the odd behaviour of X-ray binary system 00291 has been presented. I have here with me Fraser Lewis, who's the lead researcher uh, at the University of Glamorgan and of the Fawkes Telescope Project. Um, hi Fraser, could you tell us a bit more about the behaviour of this uh, X-ray binary sure. system? Well it's an interesting system because these systems often go into what we refer to as outbursts where they become much much brighter of the order of a hundred or even a thousand times over the course of 20 or 30 days. And whilst that's kind of strange, we see a lot of systems that do that. This system has been a bit odd because it's actually done it twice within a 30 or 40 day period. Uh, could you tell us how you're exactly um uh, researching the odd behaviour? Sure, well we have uh, a pair of two metre optical telescopes which are based in uh, Hawaii and Australia and um, we monitor these objects on a fairly regular basis and, and we, we look and just, just keep watching them and keep seeing when, when they go into some sort of strange type of behaviour. Okay. Now I understand that you've had some help from some Welsh students in schools, um, yeah. how exactly have they been involved? Well, we, because we're an educational group primarily, we were interested in, in getting the schools involved and getting them helping us. Um, so they're, not, they're a nice free labour resource as well, of course. But um, yeah, we had two Welsh schools that were involved. One school called uh, St David's College, which is in Cardiff, and another school called St Bridget's School, which is in Denby in North Wales. And uh, those guys took some observations that were really useful, really helpful for us. Uh, well, could other students get involved in this research, not just in Wales, but across the world? Well, certainly the UK. At the moment, Fawkes Telescope really is only open uh, as free access for UK schools. We do some pilot projects with other parts of the world as well, but it's primarily the UK that, that are involved. Okay. Is there a solution to this odd behaviour? Well, we're not entirely sure. There are an awful lot of things that, that, that may or may not be going on. And we're hoping to get more data. Maybe more data will help us. Maybe that somewhere along the way somebody's going to have to make a massive correction to their, their research and their understanding of these objects. Okay, well thank you very much.